Super Bowl Sunday. What it do? How are you? We are leaving my niece's game. I'm trying to make that a habit of being present for my family's events. But anyway, so we're leaving the game and we're headed to my nephew's um, birthday celebration. He wants to go to a little cookie bar, so we're meeting him up there to do that. And then we're gonna go home and chill out and, and eat nachos and, and chicken wings for the Super Bowl. I don't like Super Bowl, but I like to prep for the Super Bowl. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I will start taking pregnancy tests tomorrow. Can y'all believe it? We are almost at the testing time. Almost time to find out if we are carrying baby Williams this month. We will see what happens with that. I hope that y'all are having a blessed, fabulous, and beautiful Sunday. Uh, who you going for? Who playing? Dad, you don't need to go who playing. No, I don't. You got to represent better than that. Who playing? The Eagles and the Chiefs. Oh, the Eagles and the Chiefs. The Chiefs is from Kansas City. The Chiefs are from Kansas away. City, which is technically who we're supposed to be going for because we don't have a football team anymore. Um, boo that. So the LA Rams used to be the St. Louis Rams, but it is what it is. I mean, they used to be the LA Rams first, but we, we held it down, okay? So it's the Eagles and the Chiefs. I guess we're going for the Chiefs because, you know, it is what it is. We're gonna be celebrating today and having a good Sunday, and I will give y'all that TTC update later on. Don't forget to subscribe and like today's video. Is it good? <laughs> Enjoying yourself. Is it yummy? The birthday boy. <laughs> <laughs> yummy. I had a dream last night. Last night. Did everything I never do in real life. I stepped into a room, told everyone. Be quiet, cause I had something to say Blew everybody away, wear whatever I want Dressed in a gown, everybody's like Why are you going nowhere special? Just going to the store I think I'd have it all, tell you why I've been more right, so, Made it back home, I need to take this makeup off Cause it's looking crazy now But made it back home And I'm currently working on dinner for Super Bowl So let me show y'all where we are right now So I got my chicken breast um searing in the skillet right now just browning it on both sides I'm gonna cook it up really good then i'm gonna add it back into the skillet with some peppers and stuff for the nachos i got my canola oil going for my chicken wing chicken wing batter going now i'm about to do my cornstarch flour and season it here and just kind of go between the two and fry my chicken up so we're gonna do uh chicken wing and chicken nachos so i'm gonna get this makeup off of me because it's just irritating me at this point and it doesn't look as good my Try to avoid taking a pregnancy test. I know it's early. Pump the brakes. I just might take one. Who knows? I was out of corn starch. I was about to have a panic attack. I have a lot of studying to do for this program that I'm joining for IT. I'm trying to do a lot. <laughs> so I got a lot to do this evening to prepare for tomorrow. And then I'll be door dashing all week this week. It's just hustle mode. Hustle mode, okay? Let me go ahead and find this flour and cornstarch so I can start frying up this chicken. <laughs> Feels like the first time Throw away all my pride Don't wanna say I love you first But holding it in just might make all right, bum behavior right now, I don't care. I didn't pick the camera back up yesterday. So this is the longest cycle I've ever had because I didn't ovulate until cycle day 20, which means I have at least an 11 day luteal phase. I've never ovulated this late or there were months that I didn't track. Maybe I have always ovulated this late. This cycle was just off. This is where we are. I'm currently uh, at the park with the kids. So let them play for a couple minutes. Keep your hands out of your face, please. Now we're just going for a walk. I gotta get back active. Doing DoorDash is a lot of sitting. I mean, you get out to deliver, but it's still not a lot of activity. So I wanna get back to walking more consistently. So we're gonna do our nature walk and start DoorDashing for today. And yeah, so 
that's what's happening right now um like i said i will insert those tests as to where we are at the current moment and if there's any other updates anything change i will keep y'all posted so testing has begun symptoms i've experienced so far is sore boobs upset stomach uh, pinches and twinges in my left and right side um, exhaustion moodiness and <sighs> anxiety i don't want to be anxious and i don't want to have a negative outlook before <laughs> it's time to be negative because I want a positive. But, um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm scared. I'm scared that I won't get pregnant. I'm scared that it's been so long, so. And I'm emotional, so let me just, Get it together and not be negative because I really do want a positive. So, right now, um, of course, we're probably not going to see anything on this test, but, um, and I also need to <laughs> use my um, Easy at Home or the dreadful first response if I'm going to be testing early like this because the first signal I don't really like them for early testing but anyway we're going to just wait and see what happens in a few seconds so nothing yet we will keep testing and we are taking a first response so let's go into symptoms I am no longer having any symptoms besides uh, fullness in my lower stomach. Um, I got a little bit of extra energy, no cramping, no PMS symptoms, nothing like that. But all of those, oh my gosh, I could be pregnant symptoms, they subsided the moment I started taking the progesterone. So I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. But anyway this is where we are today i'm hoping that i can get something of a line on this first response but you know it is what it is if i don't i will still be using my um cheapy test that i ordered off of amazon i should receive those tests at some point tonight but <sighs> yeah so hopefully i get those and then i can pee on plastic as much as I want <laughs> because these first response are expensive but yeah so let me let this develop for a couple more minutes and let's just see what pops up you know it's a DPO and it's still a chance for a miracle some people can get a positive this early but if you don't get a positive this early that doesn't mean that you're not pregnant so I'll come back in a couple of minutes and see what it says all right, so it's been about five minutes, and of course, I think I see a super, super, super faint line, but I could be wrong, so I'm going to be patient and wait for my other test, and I will keep you guys posted and see what it says. But anyway, this is where we are right now. Be a easy at home and a clinical guard. As you can see, before I've already taken this easy at home test, there is a definite indent right there, right there. Yeah, see, this is why I don't get excited and I don't get my hopes up when I test anymore because things like this, and I'm not going to lie, my heart is really hurting this morning because I hate that I get excited about a line and then come to find out these test companies, um, just they just suck. Sorry, but they do. Um, I hate that there is a line there before you even take the test, so... Um, yeah, so I woke up this morning and I really woke up feeling hopeful, encouraged, um, excited to test. And then when I took the test apart, um, I just feel stupid and I'm tired. I'm tired. I just... 
I just really want to be done with this. I hate struggling to have a child. I hate that I have to watch this and, and you know, wait and see and do all this testing and tracking and monitoring. It's just exhausting. But I know God's going to come for me. I know at the appointed time, it'll happen. I have two girls to prove that God does perform miracles. And I've been through this journey before. It's not this long, but I've been through this journey before. And um, I've gotten over it. So I know I can get over it again. But why do I feel like an idiot for thinking that I would see a positive Um, I drive for a couple of minutes and of course I see faint lines they were already there on the um, easier home hard to read the clinical guard because it's so thin but (sighs) okay this is where we are right now alright y'all so it is 10 days post ovulation And we are taking a first response with this new dark pink tip, the pink dye clear blue. And at some point you're going to see the um, easy at home tip. So I already took the clear blue before I started recording. And as you see, the uh, first response is going now. Of course, I feel like I see something, but I just feel like I want it so bad. I'm going to see something. Um, But there's no color to these lines, so it could be that it's still early. It could be that it's just not my month, and I have to just accept that. I'm going to let these develop, and I'll come back and see what's going on. All right, so it's been a good five minutes, and yeah, so nothing really on any of the tests, and You know, I'm trying my hardest to not be pessimistic as we end this cycle. It's just I'm tired of going into new cycle after new cycle after new cycle. But I'm still going to keep trusting God for this miracle. Right, y'all. So this is my 11 days post-ovulation test. I did not show me actually dipping the test because I had no intention on filming uh, these tests. But... So, I do have a faint line here on the first response, but I'm not sure if you guys can pick that up or not. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, there's a faint line on the first response. But again, we don't really trust those, so whatever. But that's the first response. And then there is a faint line on the Easy at Home. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but there is a faint line there. And the clinical guard is still developing, but I don't see anything there. Not really. But anyway, but anyway, that's uh, where we are right now. Not really sure how this cycle ends. I just feel like I should be seeing a dark line at this point. I mean, or something where I'm not squinting or guessing or going crazy over um, the possibility of a line. But this is where we are right now. I will continue to keep testing. All right. So it is 12 days post ovulation and I have been dreading taking these tests. Because I started having major cramps all day yesterday. And I just had that let down feeling in my uterus that prepares me for on flow. So everything in my heart has settled that we're not going to get pregnant this month. And um, these easy at home tests, (laughs) they have not progressed into anything. So... Like someone else rudely stated, all of them are negative. So, 
there's that. They're all negative, and I'm trying not to be negative. I'm trying to not put all of my energy and hope into one cycle. Really trying to be more proactive this month and trying to improve um, my overall fertility and physical health so that I can try again. I'm not ready to go to the fertility specialist. I'm not ready to get to do anything major. I just want to keep on doing things naturally, which means it just might take a while. So, um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and let these develop and I will come back. All right, so it's been about six minutes and yeah, nothing's there. Blank. I've accepted that <laughs> what I'm seeing is ending. So I'm doing a close up. Nothing going the first response. I don't think that's a line. I'm not even going to tell myself it is. And then there's nothing on this easy at home. So waiting for Onflow to show up. If anything changes, I will be sure to give you guys an update. All right, y'all. Um, so it is 13 days past ovulation and we are taking what I think will be my final pregnancy test. So last night or early this morning, I got up and I took an easy at home test and there was a line there. So I'm like, maybe I'm tripping. So I took another one. A line was there, but the lines looked really odd to me. So I said, I'll try a clinical guard clinical guard came up same thing so i'm thinking well this morning i'm going to take another test and there'll be something there that easy at home the bottom one was what i took this morning literally like nothing there so i'm like you know what i'm done playing this mind game with myself i'll just take a first response and see if anything comes up because it should be more sensitive than the easy at home well I don't know. I'm going to <laughs> let this develop and see what it tells me, but I don't know what my body's doing. I think it is going crazy. Anyway, so let me go ahead and let these develop for a while and we'll just come back and see what is going on. All right, so it's been like six minutes and I feel like I can see something on the first response, but then again, why wouldn't the line be darker? I, I just, I'm not put, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm driving myself insane. And then this easy at home, I took another one while we were waiting and I see something starting to pop up on that test as well. I honestly don't know what my body's doing. I'm just going to be honest. I think that my body is just cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs at this point. The only thing that I can do is just see if Aunt Flo shows up. If she does not show up, if she decides that she is not coming for nine months, then we will know in a couple of days. If she's going to pop up, we will know in a couple of days. Either way, I will let you guys know at that time. So. Stay. Even for a moment, that's okay Even if the sky is turning gray so I hope y'all are doing well. I hope you are uh, doing something productive in your journey, whether that is a weight loss journey, a parenting journey, a TTC journey, and I'm rooting for you, okay? So baby does some positive vibes to all of my TTC sisters and warriors. Remember to be blessed, you definitely are fruitful. And don't forget to subscribe if you have not liked today's video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.